Hey, what's up everybody? In front of you right now, I have a package and this package comes from the Fulfillment Center in Memphis, Tennessee. So what I am expecting to be in this box is the 2023 American Liberty High Relief Gold Coin. Now I am usually not somebody who buys high premium collectible gold coins. When I do buy collectible coins, it is usually silver and not gold. The last collectible gold coin that I purchased from the United States Mint was this 2020 uncirculated or burnished American Gold Eagle. And this was the last Gold Eagle with the reverse of the family of Eagles or the Type 1 design or the old reverse design. This was the last of the uncirculated with that reverse design. This was the last collectible gold coin that I purchased. And I believe this coin at the time was right around $2,500. But this one had a much higher premium. I believe it was just over $2,800. But we're gonna get into this box. What I wanna see, very curious about this coin, is one is going to be the condition. Was this coin struck on center? Does this coin have any of that finning that the United States Mint is well known for for the American Liberty series. Not just the gold, but also the silver. Now, I did not purchase the silver. I only purchased the gold. But we're going to get into this box, and I'm very curious to see what is the condition of this coin. Now, there's one reason why I bought this coin, and we're going to get into that in this video. But I definitely want to see what is, how does this coin look? Does it have any of that finning? Was it struck on center? We're gonna figure all of that out because we are diving into this box. Now I do wanna take out the packing slip before I pull out the contents of this package. But in this box, we do have that bubble wrap and I'm gonna save all of this packaging just in case I have to send this back to the United States Mint. But here we have it. The United States Mint 2023 American Liberty High Relief Gold Coin. Now the silver medal, the American Liberty silver medal, last year in 2022, it came in a similar box like this, as well as a clamshell. This year in 2023, the American Liberty silver medal does not come in the clamshell. It just comes in that cheaper packaging box with COA, but here is the COA for the American Liberty High Relief Gold Coin. And here, if you wanna read any of the details, you can go ahead and pause the video and check this out. But just to be very brief with this, the denomination is $100, finish is proof, composition is four nines fine gold or 24 karat gold. And then the weight is one ounce and a reeded edge. And the mint mark is from the West Point Mint. And then here you have the rest of the details. So we will get to this coin. So here we have the clamshell, oversized clamshell. Now, in my opinion, these clamshells could be like half the size because this is a very small gold coin. The package, the clamshell, while I do like clamshells, I think this clamshell could possibly be half the size of what this is. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, the first thing you see is Treasury United States Mint, and it says Perseverance. Now, the coin itself does not say Perseverance, but the silver metal version of this design does say Perseverance on that. So let's go ahead and take out this coin and see what this looks like. Now, right off the bat, this is a beautiful coin. Very nice. You have the West Point Mint Mark. You have the date 2023 in God We Trust. And you have the Bristle Cone Pine Tree. Flip it over to the reverse of the coin and you have this eagle. Now this is the main reason why I wanted to buy this coin, not just based on the mintage of the coin, the mintage limit of the coin is 12,500, but I think the reverse of this coin is one of the best, if not the best eagle designs on a United States mint struck coin. The eagle is at rest. 
on solid rock. Beautiful reverse of this coin. It says United States of America, one ounce, four nines, fine gold, $100 face value denomination. And then at the bottom of the coin, you have E Pluribus Unum. Now, is this coin struck on center? Looking at this coin, and we're gonna take this out of the capsule. I wanna take this out of the capsule to get a better look if we have that finning. But looking at it right here, it looks like it's pretty well struck on center on the reverse. According to my eyes, from my vantage point, it looks like it's struck on center but let me know what you think in that comment section below. And then let's go ahead and flip it back over to the obverse of this coin. And is this struck on center? It looks not too bad in my opinion, but we're gonna take this coin out of the capsule. I'm gonna pause this video while I get this out of the capsule. All right, I have decided to not take this out of the capsule because it is really difficult to open this capsule up and the last thing that i want to do is accidentally touch the fields with my bare hands because if you get your fingerprints on any proof coin whether it's gold or silver that is going to have a fingerprint on there forever because you never want to try to clean a proof coin in my opinion you never want to try to wipe off a smudge on a proof coin, in my opinion, because what you will end up doing is just smearing it all over because these proof fields are very delicate. And if you take anything to these proof fields, whether that's your finger or if it's a towel, a cloth, even a microfabric cloth, all you will end up doing is just smearing this, smudging it, and scratching it all up. So that's why I've decided to not take this out of the capsule. However, if we look at the edge, we look at the reeded edge, we can go around this coin. And how you can tell if this coin has any finning is if you see any part of this edge that gets more narrow or thinner along the edge. Now this, it looks like it might have a little bit of thinning or finning, as they call it, with an F, F-I-N-N-I-N-G. But this coin does not look bad. It looks like it may have a tiny bit, but not very bad at all, in my opinion. It looks like it's pretty much struck on center. Now, you will notice that the centering does look off a little bit down here at the bottom over by where the roots of the tree is. And I believe that could be because, the only reason is because of the amount of gold to make the high relief part of this tree. So I believe that's why you do see a little bit of a thinner edge right here and it looks like it's off center. But I think that pretty much all of the other coin looks pretty much spot on center. I can't, no complaints here. If we look at this, there's, it might be ever so slightly off center if we look at it like this do we see any like really sharp edges if we look at the rim of the coin on the surface do we see anywhere where it's like really sharp i don't see anything i think this looks pretty good this for me is definitely going to be a keeper but if you think that this has any sort of finning to a large degree let me know in the comment section below. But to me, this looks pretty good. It looks pretty good in my opinion. The detail in the high relief tree, very, very high relief. It looks really, I am very impressed in my opinion with my eyes, not looking at it with a scope, not looking at it with a loop, but it looks very good. I was going to try to take this out of the capsule, but once again, it's very hard to get this one out of the capsule. And the last thing I want is for this coin to one, drop on the floor or drop on this table. And two is I don't wanna accidentally 
touch any of this coin, the fields or otherwise with my bare hands. And it's very easy to make a mistake. And when it's difficult to take these coins out of the capsule, it's very easy to do something very, very bad. So I would rather just keep this in the capsule. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you think it looks? Did you yourself purchase one? These are very high premium coins, a collector coin, very high premium. But I appreciate everybody for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. The mintage limit of this coin is 12,500. The same exact mintage limit of the 2021 American Liberty High Relief Gold Coin with that bucking horse. I appreciate everybody for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.